All right, Tom here. Two minutes of your time. First, election's over, winners declared, one side's happy, one side's not. Wall Street is melting up as we speak, but it's not all across the board. The three biggest takeaways in my mind right now are, number one, regardless of who you voted for, the fact that the election got called early, that's a huge win for the U.S. I don't think anyone could have handled another delay of results like we had in 2020. Number two, the betting contracts, and I'm talking poly market, Robinhood's event contracts and more, they got this right early. Regardless of what the pollster said, the betting contracts got it right and had it right for weeks now. Follow the probability. That's what I always say. It's almost always right. And speaking of probability, number three, I had webinars. I had videos. I had articles with you showing you with my money calendar what was poised to go higher for the next 60 days with 100% accuracy going back uh, for the last 25 years on election year only. Here's what we found out, and here's the results so far. XLE was one of those stocks up 3.5% after election results. I got this sector, the energy sector, going up to above year-to-date highs by Christmas. Okay, ITA, that's up over 3% today as well. Aerospace and defense, I think they're going to make a huge comeback in 2025. But my money calendar says the party starts early before the end of this year. XLF was my big one. Big one, up 5% today, already hitting new year-to-date highs. I expect a big extension. This one should go double digits by the end of the year. And my number one stock pick to go up in a Trump election for a Trump win, we published this, Schwab, S-C-H-W, up over 6.5% today. And I expect that percentage to double by year's end. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to come back. I'm going to talk about the hair stocks. I'm going to talk about the one sector that's poised to go up no matter who won the election. And by the way, Friday, I'm going to talk about the month of November, what my money calendar is telling me and what it's telling us about the upcoming holiday season. So a lot left to talk about. We'll see you then.